Hi, I'm Chelsea, I'm team leader, and our group topic is gender differences in communication. I'm Ariel, I'm an interviewer. I'm Joel, I'm the tech. I'm Kim, I'm the editor. I'm Elizabeth, and I'm an interviewer. I'm Taylor, and I'm the researcher. I'm Shirley, and I'm an interviewer. I interviewed Dr. Harris, who is an assistant professor in the Family, Youth, and Community Sciences Department here at the University of Florida. And he was explaining to me that the genders are mostly similar in um, both the ways that they're able to communicate and the skills that they need in order to communicate effectively. However, there are some differences, such as the fact that the genders view the purpose of communication differently. Um, Dr. Harris was explaining to me that the differences that we see between the genders are often due to socialization and that there's research to suggest that um, the genders can be equally effective as communicators um, outside of the socialization. He said that there are eight skills that both genders need to develop in order to communicate effectively, and these include things such as not stonewalling, not being critical, learning to calm down, and learning to speak non-defensively. He said that validation was an important area for future consideration. Okay, my interviewee is currently a stress and anxiety management professor in the education department, and he's also a counselor. And he believes that there's significant there's a significant difference in gender difference in communication. Um, the specific differences he told me were that men tend to be um, more oriented around respect, and females are more relational. And in America, uh, men are handed more privileges than women, and that helps shape the way they're communicated. And females um, have to fight harder for those privileges. Um, culture backgrounds also create variations in gender communication. And uh, it's, he said it's only natural because communication is a big part of culture. And depending on the culture or context, there are innate roles in communication that helps create those individual styles. And when it comes to frequency of nonverbal messages and cues, um, he believes that that's more culturally oriented than gender oriented. But um, females are more socialized and attuned to be more attuned to nonverbal messages, and that has to do with their empathy. But this is not an absolute rule. There are many uh, exceptions there. And when it comes to expressive and instrumental talk, um, he believes that there's a difference, and it has to do with socialization. Um, men tend to be more instrumental and in that they are more fact-oriented and more interested in solving problems and gaining respect. Females um, tend to be more expressive and because they rely on empathy when communicating. And he also believes that differences in gender communication are capable of creating gender inequality, and it has to do with the ability to gain power. Um, money is still an issue, he says, because men are still paid more in certain jobs than women with the same qualifications. And when it comes to improving our interpersonal communications between the genders, um, he believes that everyone needs to become more aware and understanding of gender differences in communication and make an effort to be more open-minded and hold each uh, gender equally accountable for their behavior and communication. And he's recently found that as women become more organized and confident, um, they are displaying more of healthy confrontation and more likely to stick up for themselves in a professional setting, um, which, you know, we agree is a positive trend. Okay. In my research, I mostly found that the differences in communication come from the level of aggressiveness from um, men and women. So men tend to be more assertive in their speaking and women tend to be more affiliative in their speaking, um, especially when it's an all-male dyad group or an all-female dyad group. Women are more likely to be sympathetic with each other and communicate um, differently than an all-male dyad group, which would be way more aggressive and assertive. Um, and they, they also vary in their emotions via touch. So women are more likely to touch each other like on the arm when they're communicating and men are more not likely to touch each other unless it's a, um, a physical act or, um, you know, in that, in that kind of context. So um, that was the main finding in my research, and uh, women are definitely a lot more sympathetic with each other than, than men would ever be. My interview is a professor of history and women's study at the University of Florida. In her opinion, the most significant gender differences in communication are the way men and women vocalize and how aggressive they are in group settings. Women tend to finish their statements with a high pitch, similar to how people end a question. This relays a message that, that the woman is not a threat, but it gives the power to the other person in the conversation. It gives them the power to be the expert. Men are typically more aggressive in group settings, 
They rarely hesitate to speak over other people where women tend to wait for their turn. Um, these stated differences might promote inequality depending on the social context. For instance, women and men communicate differently if they're in a room of all men or if they're in a room of all women. In a room of all men, all the men get to talk all over each other. In a room of men and women, the men are more likely to get the chance to say what they have to say, and the women are not. Uh, she also considers gender differences in communication something that's socially learned and unlearned. Therefore, it's a cultural, um, it's culturally influenced. These differences um, are also depend on the sexual orientation of the person. She believes that gender, that the gender that you identify yourself with the most influences how you communicate. She also informed me of an interesting finding from a study involving men and women from the United States and from Europe. Results showed that men, that women in Europe perceived less inequality in the workplace, but at the same time, they also reported util utilizing their feminine roles. Uh, these, these findings are relatively contradictory, so implications are still being discussed.